Ever feel stuck? Like you're in a maze with no exit? Like you keep hitting the same wall over and over again? We often create our own barriers, sometimes without even realizing it. Not on purpose, of course. It's like we're weaving a web that traps us. This is the power of self-fulfilling prophecies. Our thoughts shape our reality. We believe something about ourselves, usually negative, and it becomes our truth. This belief shapes our actions, making us hesitant and unsure. Then surprise, the outcome matches our initial fear. It's a vicious cycle. We become trapped by our own expectations, unable to move forward. But understanding this trap is the first step to freedom. Awareness is key. Imagine a young girl told she's not good at math. This label sticks with her. She starts to believe it, avoids math classes, doesn't even try. Her potential is stifled. Years later, she struggles with numbers, confirming her childhood label. The prophecy is fulfilled. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy in action. It's a loop that's hard to break. It highlights the insidious way our beliefs can shape our reality, distorting it. But it doesn't have to be this way. We have the power to change our narrative. We can learn to break free. By challenging our beliefs, we can rewrite our story. The term self-fulfilling prophecy was coined by Robert Merton, a sociologist in 1948. He saw how false beliefs could become true simply because people acted as if they were true. This idea shook things up. It challenged the notion of objective reality. Merton's work was powerful. It showed how prejudice could impact entire groups. Think about racial stereotypes. If a group is labeled as lazy or unintelligent, they might be denied opportunities. This lack of access then reinforces the stereotype. It's a vicious cycle. But Merton gave us a way to understand and dismantle these cycles. Here's the kicker. These prophecies often work on an unconscious level. We don't even realize we're holding these limiting beliefs. They're like invisible scripts dictating our choices and behaviors. This can make them even more insidious. We're blind to the forces shaping our lives. Think about someone who believes they're unworthy of love. They might sabotage relationships, push people away. Their actions then confirm their initial belief, reinforcing the cycle. The good news? Once we shine a light on these unconscious patterns, we can start to change them. Awareness is the first step to liberation. Merton's work resonated with other thinkers, particularly in the field of humanistic psychology. I emphasized the importance of taking responsibility for our experiences. I believed we create our own reality through our beliefs and actions. This aligned perfectly with the concept of self-fulfilling prophecies. Similarly, I explored how our self-image shapes our interactions with others. I argued that our expectations of ourselves and others influence how we behave and how others respond to us. This further solidified the link between belief and behavior. These pioneers showed us that we are not passive recipients of fate, but active creators of our own reality. Section five, a lack of skills versus being a bad character. Here's the crucial part. We all developed self-fulfilling prophecies, honestly. Many of us go through life feeling inadequate or blaming ourselves for not achieving our goals. Most of us haven't been taught to look for these self-inflicted limiting patterns. These are powerful psychological phenomena where our beliefs and expectations shape our reality. 
we haven't learned the skills to identify and challenge our limiting beliefs. These beliefs can hold us back, creating barriers to our success and happiness. This is a lack of education, not an innate character flaw. It's important to understand that our upbringing and environment play a significant role in shaping our mindset. We're playing a game we never knew the rules to. Imagine trying to solve a complex puzzle without knowing what the final picture looks like. It's like trying to bake a cake without a recipe. You might have all the ingredients, but without guidance, it's challenging to get the desired outcome. You might throw some ingredients together, but the result probably won't be great. This doesn't mean you're incapable. It just means you need proper instructions. But that doesn't mean you're a bad baker. It simply highlights the need for learning and practice. It just means you need the right tools and knowledge. With the right resources, anyone can improve their skills and achieve their goals. The same goes for self-fulfilling prophecies. By understanding and addressing them, we can change our outcomes. Once we learn the skills, we can bake a much better cake, or in this case, create a more fulfilling life. With the right mindset and tools, the possibilities are endless. Section six, breaking free. Awareness as the first step. So how do we break free? It starts with awareness. We need to become conscious of the limiting beliefs that are holding us back. This takes courage. It requires us to look inward and confront the stories we've been telling ourselves, even the painful ones. Think of it like cleaning out a cluttered closet. It's messy and uncomfortable at first. You might find things you'd rather forget about, but once the clutter is gone, you have space for something new. The same goes for our minds. By clearing out limiting beliefs, we create space for growth and possibility. Challenging, limiting beliefs. Once we're aware of our limiting beliefs, we can start to challenge them. Are they really true? Have we ever questioned their validity? Or are they just old stories we've been clinging to? Stories that have been passed down to us or ones we've created ourselves over time. Often these beliefs are rooted in avoidance of facing our fears, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of stepping out of our comfort zones, fear of not being good enough. Avoiding really looking at these fears leads to paralysis, holding us back from reaching our true potential. We need to meet these fears with compassion and courage. Ask ourselves, who do I need to become so these fears are just fears and not roadblocks? Even, what if the opposite were true? What if our fears are not based on reality, but on our perceptions? What if I am capable? capable of achieving my dreams and aspirations? What if I am worthy of love, worthy of success and happiness? These questions might feel uncomfortable at first, challenging the very core of our beliefs, but they open us up to new possibilities. They allow us to see beyond our fears and limitations. They allow us to rewrite the script of our lives, to transform our beliefs and narratives into ones that empower us. Embracing a new mindset. We can live with purpose and intention, moving from fear to possibility. Cultivating self-compassion, a foundation for change. Breaking free from self-fulfilling prophecies requires self-compassion. It's easy to get down on ourselves for believing these limiting stories. We might judge ourselves harshly 
adding another layer of negativity to the mix. But this only keeps us stuck. Instead, we need to approach ourselves with kindness and understanding. We're all works in progress, doing the best we can with the tools we have. By offering ourselves compassion, we create a safe space for growth and transformation. We allow ourselves to stumble, learn, and rise stronger. Embracing the journey towards a more empowering reality. Breaking free from self-fulfilling prophecies is a journey, not a destination. It's an ongoing process of self-discovery, requiring us to be curious, courageous, and compassionate with ourselves. There will be setbacks along the way. We might fall back into old patterns, but that's okay. It's part of the process. The important thing is to keep moving forward, keep learning, keep growing. As we cultivate awareness, challenge our limiting beliefs, and embrace self-compassion, we step into a more empowering reality. We become the authors of our own stories, creating lives filled with possibility, purpose, and joy.